Um, as you can see, I'm, I got my hair on a, on a um, pipe cleaner set. But uh, what I was doing, I had a request. Somebody wanted to know um, what I actually use on my locks. Um, I don't use, oh, sorry. Um, I don't use a lot on my locks because um, they're still maturing and they're still in the locking process. So I'm not supposed to use too much stuff. But I do use some stuff because um, I work out and I have really itchy, um, I, I get a real itchy scalp. So I'm just going to show a couple of things that I actually um, use. And a lot, everything right now that I've been using, I get from the um, Video Locutions website. Um, I think on YouTube, she's the Video Profit. She has some really nice um, hair mist and oils, and I like them. They smell awesome, so I'll show everybody what it is that I use. So, okay. So the first thing that I have that is my, I have a spray bottle, and what I have in the spray bottle is um, water. There's water, and then I put either. Um, let's see, can you see that? That that one is. Um, either peppermint oil or that was sorry that's rosemary peppermint or um lavender oil and i actually get those from um whole foods or you can i think you can get them at central market too and i just use that and i probably miss my hair I mess my hair maybe every other day or so just to keep moisture in my hair. Then one of this I get from the Video Locticians um, website. It's actually pomegranate mango shea butter um, balm. And I just put a little bit. I don't know if I can get it open. I um, just take a little bit. Just take a little bit. It's really... It's really, really nice feeling. And it's almost the same way you would do shea butter when you did put on your hair, you know, your natural hair before you had locks. And you just put a little in your hand and you just scrunch it in the um, in the locks. And I can show y'all that once I take the um, locks out. I mean the, the rollers out. The next thing is um, Healthy Locks Daily Conditioning Mist. This is what you saw me using when I was putting in my pipe cleaners. I just um, shake it up and I missed a little bit. I missed it on my hair. So I use this as like a um, as like a, a setting lotion. And then I, I probably spray this on my hair maybe once, maybe twice a week. No more than once or twice a week because I don't want to put too much product or any product build up. But even when I was putting it on like every other day, she says that you can use it every day, but I don't use it every day, but it smells really good. The next thing that I use is, it's an oil, it's called Ooh, and it's actually for the scalp. I get really bad itchy scalp. So I take a little bit of this on my fingertips. Let me see if I can show you. This is the bottle it comes in. I don't know, I don't wanna waste any. But I just put it on my scalp or I put it in my hands and put it on my fingertips. And then I just kinda of massage it into my scalp. I do this after I take out the, um, the um, pipe cleaners as well. It's hard for me to make it so you can see it. But it's on her website, it's called Ooh. And she has a lot of, um, sorry about that, my um, my camcorder ran out of um, memory. But as I was saying, this is on her website. Um, she has, uh, let's see, she has a blend of oils. It has jojoba oil, aloe vera, coconut, and, and uh, watermelon seed oils. There's rosemary, there's some lavender, there's peppermint, there's lemongrass. There's lime, and then there's clar clary sage. So she has some really nice oils in this. And then the other thing that I use, is this is really new on her site, and it's called Lock Love. It's a healthy lock conditioning hair and body oil. You can actually use it on your body too. And I put it on my hair um, just like I put on maybe 
put on the um, conditioning spray or even how I do the, the um, water, the water mist that I make. Um, I just put a little bit in my hands as you can see it's real, it's nice and just, it's not really heavy so it doesn't, I've been doing using it for about, um, let's see, sorry, right. I've been using it for maybe a couple, a month, maybe two months and I haven't had any problems, no slippage or anything like that, sorry y'all, I'm trying my best here, um, so that's pretty much all I use, I just use the Lock Love hair conditioning mist and things like that um and then uh, i use lock loops every now and then but lately i've just been on the pipe cleaners so other than that that's all i use i don't do anything special um when i went and got my retightening two weeks ago um she said i really didn't have that much slippage my locks are maturing um they're maturing very well she says um what else did she say um i if for anybody who doesn't know i um i do i don't like that okay that's better that's better um for anybody that doesn't know i do my retightens every four to six weeks actually i do every six weeks but because i have drill and everything coming up i mean at coming up it's going to be eight weeks before I actually get my retightening done. So my next retightening isn't until June. So we're going to see how eight weeks go. So I might start just doing them, doing my retightenings every eight weeks. Um, I was thinking about doing, um, just learning to retighten it myself. But I'm too lazy, y'all. I don't like retightening. I don't like it. I don't even like curling it. But I curl it so that it's not too puffy. But... That's all I got. I don't really use too much other stuff. I start, I'm start. i starting to buy um, makeup and eyeshadows and stuff. So I'll, I'll be doing an eyeshadow haul probably by the end of this week because I ordered a lot of um, eyeshadows and stuff off of eBay. A couple of, um, I ordered like a 120 palette and then there was an 88 palette and a couple other things. So I'll be showing that and hopefully I'll be starting trying to do do some of these um, tutorials that I see. I'm going to try to do some. I'll let y'all watch me do one. See how messed up I look afterwards. But alright, that's all I got. Talk to y'all later. Bye.